Okay. Now we want to fetch, we want to be able to grab some data from our source continuously. So when we're drawing, when we are in our draw call, we want to grab a window, a small buffer of the the sample data that comes from the audio, the audio data. Uh, so we want to go window equals get, yeah. and we want to grab a small window every single frame. Now I whip something up that can help us sort of visualize what exactly this looks like. So you, if you imagine that between these, this tick here and this tick here, that this is one second. Let's just imagine that for a second. This is one second worth. Now this window, it has a certain window size. It doesn't really matter what that is for now. We want to grab on, on the first frame, we want to grab this window. And then the second frame, we want to shift over and grab the next one and then shift over and then shift and shift and shift. And what we can see here is that for every six frames, one, two, three, four, five, six, we want to shift exactly one sixth of the distance. And this is this is called the, the hop. How far are we going to hop from here to here? It's called the hop size. And this is a concept that is important when it comes to our spectrogram. And we're, we're introducing it here, but it'll become much more familiar later on. And so I made another one here with, you can see three frames per second. We've got the first window that needs to shift over a third, and then another third, and then it'll another third again, and it will end up aligning with the start of that, this new second here after one, two, three frames per second. And so each frame we're grabbing a chunk, a window of data. So I just thought it would be good to visualize this. And so this window, it should be, uh, we'll print it out. It's going to be either a list uh, and it's either going to be a numpy array, sorry, or none. So we're going to go window dot shape if okay. So if if the window is good, if it's not none, then we're going to call this property, and it's going to tell us the, essentially the size of our list. If not, we're just going to say none. Okay. Now I don't think we've implemented our get yet. But we'll do that right now. I'm going to need that window size and our hop size. We'll just give it a value of 450 for the time being. We're going to calculate it exactly, but we will get to that in a minute. Now, hopefully there weren't any errors. Uh, yep, yeah, there's an error right here. It should be if. Okay, and then now when we when we call this draw function every single frame, we should see uh, we, we should be fetching a window or none. So let's see what that looks like now. Four score and seven years ago. Our fathers brought okay so what we can see is it starts off having a frame every single time a window but then it very quickly runs out like it, it very quickly reaches a point where it doesn't have any data available for that particular frame and it starts happening very very frequently that's what these nuns represent so if we go over here what's happening is this hop size is jumping across too fast now, the actual hop size that we want, see we picked 450, just, you know, pay attention, follow along, this is the important part. We initially picked a hop size of 450, but that, that hop size is too big for us. 
we can calculate what we can calculate what it should be exactly. Actually, we'll make our wave first, and then that should illustrate the point a little bit better if we can actually see it. We'll also add. We want to calculate the number of buffers or windows that we have available as well. That would be really helpful to do that. Okay, so we'll run the program again, but we will also grab how many buffers we have available. That might illustrate the point a little bit better. Run again. Four score and seven years ago. Okay. So we started off here with, you know, double digits, number of buffers left, and then it's getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And then when we have none, see we have no buffers available. So again, our hop size is too large. And again, what we'll do now is we will show visually what that looks like and then after that we will calculate our hop size exactly and we'll adjust it and then this is, a, this, is a, this is an important point so now we're going to actually get to putting something on the screen really fun part so i'll just close down these for now and i will we're going to make a new file and we're going to call it wave we're going to, we're going to put it in our app folder And there's a lot to go in here. I'm gonna do, we're gonna make some, we're gonna do some OpenGL programming right here. Okay. And we're gonna have to import, some, uh, we're gonna have to install some packages as well. So we're gonna to have to make we have to do do some OpenGL shaders here. We're gonna we're gonna we're going to define them as text and we're going to pass them to the modern GL framework. It's gonna make it really easy for us. window size is going to be 1024. We only want to grab, say, the first 100 elements. And this is just an aesthetic choice. This is uh, not super important. And you'll see why in a minute. And I'll just smash out the whole thing and explain it at the end. Okay, that was a lot. So to actually use it, we're going to go to our main file, we're going to need to import it. And create a wave. 
we have our context from our window, which I'll just quickly show again. In our initialized GL, we had self.context right here. We create this context. So when we call init, we have it available. And our wave, we needed the X. So it's positioned on the screen, basically. X, Y, it's gonna be in the top. This is from the top left corner. The width is gonna be the width of the screen, which we set to 1280. We're gonna take all these values, all these all these hard-coded numbers out in a second, and we're going to you know, put them in some sort of um, config file. And then we'll give it a height of 200. And then in our size, we want to we want to we want the wave to update its own size. We just feed that, and then we'll come down here. So we want to go wave. We want to add that window, window or null. We need to tell the wave to update. And we separated these because we might be calling wave.add multiple times per frame in the future. So we want to update that. And then we want to go self.wave.draw. And that should be everything we need to see something on the screen, hopefully. And we'll come back, we'll, we'll look at it, and then we'll come back and we'll explain everything once we get rid of all the errors. Uh, one more thing first, we need to install an additional package. So luckily we've got our env activated here. If not, it just goes source, venv, bin, activate. And then we want to go pip install modern gl. Oh, we already had modern gl. Oh, never mind. Oh, sorry, we need peer. Pip install peer. Sweet. And then moment of truth. Spelling error. I think I was supposed to capitalize something. I think it should be here. Yep. Capital V. Try again. Yep. Forgot a bracket. Curly bracket. Yeah, there was no way I was going to get through that without making a few mistakes. So what's next? Token GL position. Okay. I ah, yeah. no semicolon. P is not defined. Yep, yeah, that will be down here in our size. We need a capital P. E, the wrong shape. Yep. So this should have been a minus two. And the reason why we're doing this is because we have a big buffer of samples and we want to shift them over two at a time on every time we call add and then make room for two more, which one upper and one lower. And it'll make sense with once we can see it. Save. Okay. Yep. Hopefully that's the last one. Instead of save, it should be a wave. Four score and seven years there ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created. Okay. So I believe it's working. It's just that our background shouldn't be as green. We need to change that. So we'll come here. And we'll change this to, we'll just set it to black. So we can really see what's going on. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers right. brought forth on this continent a new nation, so we have conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition here, that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war. So why is it doing that? Let's figure that out. Won't need our window anymore. So, why is that happening? That's why. 
it should be a multiply sample multiplied by Popeye. Let's try one more time. Four score and seven years ago, there we go. our fathers brought right. forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created so, equal. Now we, now have we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so awesome. conceived and so dedicated can long endure. And you can see here, it uh, has completed, but it still keeps moving across the screen. Now, the thing that I wanted to demonstrate before is that we have a few gaps. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this, and instead of being having a height of 200, I'm going to give it a height of uh, the full. Actually, I'm going to give it the full height, 720. This should look really cool. It'll be the full size. Four score and seven go. years ago, so got our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged. Okay, so something I want to demonstrate when it goes across, I'm going to go back to our source and our hop size. I'm going to increase our hop size again. I'm going to increase it to 700. And now I want you to see what happens when I do that. The wave itself is going to have way more of these gaps. And these gaps will be represented by lines that are missing. Four score and seven years ago, see? our fathers brought forth on it this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty gaps. and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now I'll do it again. And I'll, I'll really, I'll, I'll make it 5,000 so that now it'll really... You only have one one line per every four score and seven years yeah, so ago. Our fathers brought forth on see, this now continent it's missing a new most nation, conceived lines, in liberty yeah. and dedicated to the proposition right. that all men are created equal. So the reason why I'm now we are engaged this in a is our I want to sh I want to demonstrate that our hop size is directly related. Like the hop size, we need our hop size to be a specific number so that we don't run out. We don't have any of these nuns. We don't want these, right? So we're, got, we're getting heaps now. It's because our hop size is way too big and there's not enough data ready for us. Um, and I'm demonstrating this with the green um, audio wave, but it will be ex it will be way more important when we get to the spectrogram next. So this is why I'm just trying to make this point of like what why picking our hop size is so important um, for the for the display purposes. Um, and the hop size that we use here, it will be the same hop size that we use in our spectrogram, which is an important concept as well. And so I'm just trying to really get you very familiar with the hop size um, straight away. So the actual hop size that we want to use, so we, we calculated here before, it's hop size equals the total number of samples, which is 22,050 divided by the frames per second, which is 60. So we're going to just open up a Python you know, thingamajiggy here. And we're going to say 2250 divided by 60. And that is the perfect hop size for us to use. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to round up. We're going to use, say, three, we use 370, just to be safe, because there will be a little bit of a delay, a little, a little bit of a buffer. Um, so we'll go 370. That means we should get almost no nuns. So these nuns here should be almost zero. So we'll try again. Four score and seven years ago, and our see, fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that no all gaps, men are created equal. Well, practically no Now gaps. we are engaged in a great... We'll hold here. And we can see we're getting zero, zero nuns. Right, so th this is this is why we wanted to do this, and the number of uh, buffers or the number of windows that we have available at any one time stays roughly at around ten. It does seem to be shrinking slowly. So if we start up here, we can see it's double digits, double digits. There's a lot more of them, and as we come down and down and down and down and down, it starts to reduce really, really, really slowly. That's because we round it up. So I'll do it again, and it will eventually. Four get score and seven years ago, so see, our fathers uh, brought forth on this continent 12, a new nation, 
conceived in liberty, and dedicated Going to the proposition that now. all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil now war, testing whether that digits. nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. Okay, yeah, we ran out of data there. So, yeah, like we, yeah, so that's because it reached the end of the thing. So that, that doesn't count. But um, this hop size is almost perfect and pr practically perfect for our purposes. And what we actually do as well is in our, actually, yeah, we'll just keep it like that for now. Close this down and go again so we can see how beautiful Four score and seven years wave. ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent and a that's new it. nation. That's our wave liberty work. And dedicated to the proposition that so all men are now, created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing so whether that nation or any nation so conceived take and so dedicated and put pin can to long the top, endure. And then we can get started on our uh, spectrogram, which is, you know, the real fun part. Actually, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that yet. We want to add our microphone. That's what I was supposed to do. Yeah. So we'll get to our microphone now.